like a slave to this, a slave to that, a slave to that, until that thing overmasters you, overpowers you. You confess that, you clean up that, you correct that, and you counter that, and then bitter sweetness. That thing appears sweet, but you know it's bitter. It has a bitter end. It has a bitter consequence. It has a bitter outcome. And because of that, you want to get off that bitter sweetness and bitter sacrilege. Sacrilege is when people blaspheme God, and then you've been taking pleasure in that before you pack all that aside. You say, now I'm going to confess and all that will not begin. Bitter strive. Bitter strive. Always striving. Now, if you, life is short. If you go throughout life fighting, you go throughout life strife, and you go throughout life violence, when are you going to enjoy life? And the guilt and the condemnation is there. All the, those bitter things, we confess them, we correct them, we counter them. We don't walk in that direction anymore. And bitter sail, bitter sail. You see, I don't understand that. There are things that are not for sale. Look at your life. There are commodities that are not for sale. There are good, good things in your life that are not for sale. How can I tell you that? How can I explain that? You say, man, this man, actually his heart was soft. And when Elijah spoke to him, he went softly. But he sold himself to Jezebel, Ahab. Because he had sold himself, all the good things in him, in him, he had sold unto Jezebel. There are some things you need to know is not for sale in your life. Give me a good amen. amen. There's a, a newspaper, national paper, and it used to publish, uh, you know, something uh, for our young people, both boys and girls. And then sometimes they'll have an article, they'll say, virginity not for sale. And you take a cue from that. There are some good, good things in your life. Integrity, not for sale. Vision, not for sale. Courage, not for sale. Ability, not for sale. Strength, not for sale. Samson didn't understand that. That the gift he had was not for sale. Even Solomon didn't understand that. That the wisdom he had was not for sale. And Ahab did not know that his person and personality was not for sale. You must determine in your life. Look at the conviction there not for sale. Look at the courage there, not for sale. Look at the confidence there, not for sale. And look at the passion and the mission that you have, not for sale. Bitter sale. But we correct all that and now we're ready to climb. I said now we're ready to climb. Where are you? Look at number three here now. Number three, compelling, conserving, contributing, bigger fruitfulness. The Lord wants you to bear fruit. The Lord will equip you, you will bear fruit. What kind of fruit? Good fruit? More fruit? If you've been bearing good fruit before, as we pray together now, more fruit in your life in Jesus' name. Much fruit. That you have fruit here at home and fruit there in the community and fruit there in the office. Good fruit everywhere you go. Much fruit. Beneficial fruit that will benefit many people around you. Beneficial fruit, better fruit, the best of fruit, and Godward fruits. I invite you to a new start, a new beginning in your life. That from today, mark this this down. Higher you will go, better things you will do supernatural help of the power that never fails in your life in Jesus name 
rise up there, rise up there, and very quickly just say, Lord, here I come, Lord, here I come. I receive, here I come, I receive, here I come, I receive. Tell the Lord, the past failure, say, Lord, I am sorry, I'll not go that direction anymore. Cleanse me, forgive me, change my life, turn my life around, transform my life. Let him do it right there. The blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth us from all sin. He's cleansing you right now. As you believe, be it unto you according to your faith. Amen. 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 Raise up your hand. A new journey now. Raise up hand. Higher heights now. Raise up your hand there. The past is going to go in the water under the bridge. Yeah. Buried. Yeah. Buried. Yeah. New life will resurrect and rise up in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, manifest your love to everyone. Yeah. Your goodness to everyone. Your mercy to everyone. Forgive their past. Recreate, renew in them a new beginning. Lord, grant them the faith to hook in, link in to Jesus, the Savior, right now. Lord, I pray you grant them your own salvation. New strength now, new power, new vision, new passion, a new focus in Jesus' name. Make them first, foremost in their endeavors. And anything that ties down, pulls back, anything that hinders progress, Cut away from their lives in Jesus' name. Yeah. Any sickness, any infirmity, heal them. Yeah. Deliver them. Yeah. New strength now, new healing now, total deliverance in every life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord, I pray that you grant them fortification strengthening, yeah. might, yeah. power, yeah. and whatever they found impossible in the past, all things are now possible. Yeah. Take the limit of their lives yeah. and make them to soar high, high, yeah. higher, yeah. higher, yeah. highest, yeah. highest, yeah. highest, yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is confirmed in your life. Praise the Lord. That young man that the pastor was talking about now, 23 years of age, rolling like that on that board at the mention of the name of Jesus. He got up. You will get up. He started walking. You will walk. You will see. Power, the power that never fails will come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Not only that he was walking, he raised up that boat and then to run, you were on. Everything impossible will be made possible tonight. You will be saved. 
you'll be healed. You'll be delivered. And this day will mark a great day of miracle in your life in Jesus' name. Are you there? I know you are there in the crowd, but are you there for miracle? Yeah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. we thank you tonight and bless you. We know with you all things are possible. That's why we came, because of the power that never fails. And I pray that power will work in every life every soul, every spirit, everyone today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Miracles tonight. Amen. Miracle of salvation. Amen. Miracle of healing. Amen. Miracle of deliverance. Amen. Wonders in every life. Amen. Confirm it, Lord, here, there, over the radio, on the television, and the people that are connected through social media in every congregation, every country, every community, Lord, do it in every life in Jesus' name. We praise your name and thank you because we know it is done. And everyone will have their part in Jesus' name. God bless you. You can sit down. We'll be talking about the power that never fails, the mercy that never fails, the grace that never fails. Today, I want to talk about the faith that never fails. As you believe the Lord, as you know that God, who has made his promises, he is a faithful God, a never failing God, as powerful, as mighty today as he was on the day of creation. And he said, let there be, and there was immediately, that same God, mighty as ever before, powerful as ever before, loving, compassionate, impartial as ever before tonight is coming your way power will work in your life anointing will break the yoke in your life in jesus name today i want to talk to you on sustainable freedom through faith in the father's faithfulness freedom faith the Father and His faithfulness, sustainable freedom through faith in the Father's faithfulness. Look at John chapter 8, and I'm reading from verse 32. John chapter 8, reading from verse 32. <clears throat> in John chapter 8, verse 32, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know. Depends on when you want to know. You can know it in five minutes. You can know it in ten minutes. And the moment you know the truth, and it is the truth that sets you free, ye, meaning you, shall know whether in five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, shall know the truth. And the truth that you know will set you free. Free from what? Free from what Adam and Eve brought into the world. Before they brought that evil sin, that affliction, that disobedience, that rebellion against God before they brought sin into the world. There was no sickness and there was no satanic affliction and there was no evil, there was no suffering. And now Jesus said that even though Adam and Eve brought that into the world, 
There's a way. There's a plan. There is the power to set you free. Welcome. Tonight, I welcome you to freedom. Yeah. And he says, you shall know the truth. The truth that Adam and Eve did not keep. The truth that Cain did not have. The truth that those people, Nimrod, that brought in or built the tower of confusion. And the truth that the Gentiles did not know. And therefore, they were in darkness. They were in sin. They were in sickness. They were in affliction. They were in suffering. That truth is coming to you tonight. Amen. Amen. And ye shall know the truth, praise the Lord. I will know the truth. I will know the truth. It's the truth that sets you free. Free from sin. Free from evil. Free from bad habit. Free from sickness. Free from cancer. I did it yet. And you are free from tuberculosis. And you are free from all the oppression and the affliction of the devil. Once you know the truth, it says, the truth shall set you free. Did you see that? It's not rolling on the ground will set you free. It's not going to drink out of the water of river Jordan will set you free. It is not ritual. It is not ceremony. It is not religious right that will set you free. It is not a man that will set you free. The truth that comes to you and penetrates your life as truth enters sin will take the run. As truth enters, sickness will run a relay race fast out of your life. And I come today to just tell you that truth. All you need to just stay there, stay there, and the truth enters, and darkness will go out, and the truth enters, and sin will go out, and the truth enters, and sickness will go out, and the truth enters, and suffering will run out of your life in Jesus' name. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Look at verse 36. In verse 36, it says, If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Did you hear that? Number one, free. Number two, free indeed. One hundred percent free from the top of your head to the tip of your toe your spirit your soul your mind your body free indeed tonight is your night tonight is my night the cord that binds you the chain that binds you the power that binds you the darkness that envelopes you and all the evil that ever came into your life freedom has come for you today for me for me it is confirmed in heaven and you will see the manifestation as we pray when that final amen comes you're through you have a testimony tonight yeah. what is the testifier i'm looking for a testifier now it will come yeah. i said it will come yeah. three things we're looking at 